Bradshaw trying to get away. And his pass is broken up by Tatum. What do you remember about December 23rd, 1972? If you're talking about the Immaculate Reception. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, and what I remember of the Immaculate Reception, I remember nothing. What? Nothing, and, and, it, and, it, and it still blows my mind when I left the backfield until stiff arming Jimmy Warren going into the end zone, my mind is a complete blank. So as a football player, I know exactly what you mean. But to everybody else watching, they're saying, how could that be? One of the greatest plays of all time. How could you only remember bits and pieces? But that's the way the game goes. Out of nowhere came Frank O'Hare riding a white stallion. They hear you come, seemingly out of nowhere, scooping the ball off of the ground. Not off of the ground. Yeah, I was going to get to that. I seen you going to catch me. I almost got him. Almost got him. All right? I need you to get serious. No laughing here. Did you catch that ball? I played the fifth on <laughs> I have no idea. The pieces of that play, what do you remember? The last thing I remember, I remember Bradshaw throwing the ball and me saying to myself, Go to the ball. Mm. It wasn't like a full-out sprint. You know, it's just go to the ball. Things are happening around that ball. Yeah. Go to that ball. And because you decided to do that, you were part of the greatest play in NFL history. Wow. How about that? I mean, I still can't believe that, but, but it makes me feel so good because of what eventually happened during the rest of the 70s. And we look at one play, but we look at that decade, that decade is wild too. You know, I grew up in Pittsburgh, and so he's right. Before that play, the Steelers were the laughing joke of the National Football League. 